The danger of controlling a solenoid or a motor with an Arduino is that the energy sent to the solenoid can be received back and burn the Arduino. To avoid this danger, in this project I will demonstrate how to create a circuit with a transistor and a diode to act as a kickback, so the electricity is prevented from returning to the Arduino on the pins other than the ground. I'm going to create a circuit to control a solenoid with an Arduino. For that, we are going to need an Arduino, a breadboard, six cables, a solenoid, one transistor IRF 520, one diode 1N4007, a resistor with 330 ohms and a resistor with 2.2 kilo ohms. So, let's start creating our circuit. We have this transistor IRF520. This transistor has three connections that uses an orientation G, D, S, G for gate, D for drain, and S for source. In the gate, we are connecting a digital pin of the Arduino. In the drain, we are connecting the solenoid. And in the source, we are connecting to the ground. This is our orientation for the transistor. Let's start by putting the transistor on the breadboard. So, to connect to the gate, first we are going to use the red cable for the VCC, the blue for the ground, and the green for the digital pin in the Arduino. In the gate, we are connecting the digital pin. We are using the green cable and connecting to the pin number 3 in the Arduino. But for connecting to the gate in the transistor, we are going to need a resistor of 2.2 kilo ohms that we connect to the first pin of the transistor. And then we connect the green cable that is connected to the first pin of the transistor. Then we are going to connect the ground. The ground is connected to the third pin of the transistor and then we connect the cable to the ground of the Arduino. The cable for the VCC we connect to the 5 volts in the Arduino and for now we connect to the breadboard to be used later for the solenoid. Now we're going to connect the transistor of 330 ohms in the VCC. Now for using the diode, I'm going to make another sketch. We have this diode 1N4007. This diode works this way. It has a mark on this side. That means on the left is the plus, on the right is the minus. That means the current flows this way. Because we have the VCC entering here, we are going to use the diode with a mark to the left. Because this diode will act as a kickback and will connect to the other side of this resistor. Here we have the solenoid. And now, using the rest of the cables, we'll use two cables to connect the solenoid. The first one we'll use where the VCC enters the breadboard. And 
and the other cable will connect to the connection of the diode and to the other connection of the solenoid. And we are just missing one more cable to the drain. We'll connect this cable to the center pin of the transistor and connect to the connection of the diode. The circuit is complete. Now let's make the code and then upload it to the Arduino. Let's make the code to control the solenoid. We start by creating an integer that is a variable that we'll call solenoid with the value of 3. This value is the digital pin number 3 of the Arduino. Then we create a void called setup that will define a pin mode for the solenoid as an output and a void for the loop that will make a digital write for the solenoid as an I and then we'll make a delay for one second so now in the loop we'll do an height for the solenoid and a delay but after that I want a low so we'll make a digital write for the solenoid as a low and wait another second now the solenoid will have an height wait a second, a low, wait a second to detect if there is something wrong with an Arduino we'll create another integer called LED with the number 13 that is the pin number 13 of the light of the Arduino so we can check the light if there is some problem with the solenoid we have to define a pin mode of the LED as an output and on the loop we'll make a digital write for the LED as an height and also a digital write for the LED as a low so now we can check when the light is on the solenoid is high and when the LED is off the solenoid should be low the LED and the solenoid is high the next second is low it will pull and release pull and release the solenoid so the code is done let's upload it to the Arduino the code is being uploaded and we can see the solenoid is working when the light is on the solenoid is pulled when the light is off the solenoid is released it will pull and release pull and release so this is the code and the circuit to control a solenoid safely with no harm to the Arduino If you like this project, hit the like button, write a comment about this project and subscribe to this channel to see upcoming projects.